Hello everyone in this video, let us learn how to insert a link when you're working in org mode and also learn how to insert a footnote. At the same time, I also want to discuss few tips today to make your uh, editing experience in Emacs uh, really wonderful. Okay, so right now I'm working in uh, Emacs and uh, as you can see here, this is nothing but my uh, org file where uh, I am trying to uh, make a document. I'm basically writing a blog post and the blog post is actually this one where uh, you can see that it is uh, nicely presented with uh, this uh, table of content. But I want to focus on few things today. I want to first talk about how, how to insert a link in your uh, document. So let us say if uh, you want to uh, write here that uh, the link to to this blog is blog site is uh, www.ravi.pro. So this is this is of course uh, a text uh, and of course I can have the hyperlink if I use this http colon and it will of course create a link for me if I save it and if I publish it so let us see how it looks like I'm just uh, publishing it uh, very quickly and if I go back and uh, try to refresh my uh, my my browser I can see this link here but I don't really want this link to be displayed as a link with the full URL I want to make it as uh, I want to make a text as uh, um, as maybe a hyperlink so while we are working on org uh, this org file we cannot really use uh, anchor tag we need to use something else so there is a way to do it and there are, so I'll probably talk about two ways of doing it uh, first way is that when you, when you want to make let us say this text as uh, a link uh, so when people click on blog, they are taken to ravi.pro. What you need to do, you need to insert uh, uh, these um, br brackets. And uh, let us say you want to um, insert a link here. So you can do this using uh, www.ravi.pro. And then you can type in here uh your actual text so basically if you take a look at this again uh all i'm doing here is i'm basically let me just get rid of this block part so all i'm doing here is that i'm using these brackets where the first bracket contains the link the actual url and the second bracket contains this uh, text here now if i save this and if i publish it I will of course uh, have this uh, blog text as a link to the URL that I want uh, uh, where I want users to go. So I can see here that there is a link called uh, blog and this actually works. It is uh, taking me to my ravi.pro blog or any website basically. So this is all fine but uh, doing this uh, manually is it's a bit of a pain but uh, you can also do it with a uh, with a command so let me just get rid of this uh, completely and uh, let me show you how to make any text as uh, let us say if you talk about blog here so if i select it i want to now make it as uh, a linked text pointing to maybe any url uh, so what you can do here, you can simply press Ctrl C, Ctrl L, and then you can type in here your uh, URL, which is www.ravi.pro. Then if you want, you can have the, the, the description, which is of course picked up from the text that we selected. And if you press Enter now, now you have your link. So it is as simple as that. And if you press Ctrl C, Ctrl L again, you have your link displayed to you in case you want to modify. So just uh, use this method to insert a link. So this is about inserting link. Uh, one more thing which I want to show you today is the footnote. So if you look 
here in this document i have some footnotes inserted where uh when you pub when you publish it when you export it as html it will have some numbers like one two three and uh, when you click on those numbers while you're on html page you are taken to this uh, footnote here at the very bottom where of course you can have more information so how, how do we do it Basic, basically the purpose of this footnote is to uh, refer your your readers to maybe additional links but to insert a footnote you need to basically use the same bracket here with fn colon one two three and so forth and so on and uh, you have to insert the same thing at the very bottom uh, again you can do it manually if you want if you have time but if you want to make your life easy what you can do you can uh, simply point your uh, cursor at uh, at a position where you want to insert this foot link and uh, a footnote uh, and then you can press ctrl uh, c ctrl x and then if you press f it will basically insert this link for you so now you can see here that we have fn colon 3 and uh, this is the new foot uh, note from the a uh, place where we learned how to insert a link so i know this is uh, looking really weird because uh, uh the text is not wrapping uh, i mean i would expect you would expect when you when you're working on any text editor to basically have some respect for the window size the width but right now it is going all the way across uh, on the right hand side but that is something that i want to show you today as well how to uh, make your uh, writing experience much more easier so let us just take a look at how this uh, looks like first and then we'll uh, then we'll uh, worry about the uh, editing mode so if i go back to my page here now you can see that on top we have this number called three if i click on this I'm now taken to this footnote where I have this footnote that I can uh, refer to. So, so far we, we are uh, learning how to work on Emacs, doing things to make our life easy. The next thing that I want to show you today is that uh, if you're working on, let us say Emacs, and you want to make your uh, experience uh, really good uh, when you are typing, especially in, in situation where you have a window or maybe you have uh, this text going all the way across on the right hand side you can make it look really good when you change the visual mode so there is a mode that i want to show you today and that is visual line mode so if you press uh, meta x or alt x or escape x followed by visual hyphen line hyphen mode and if you press enter you can then immediately see this uh, text wrapping itself and respecting the uh, the width of uh, the area where you are writing it could be a window it could be the full screen mode uh, and it is sub something really good and it really makes the writing experience uh, much more uh, uh, fun and uh, it is quite natural i believe but <clears throat> There is also one more thing that I want to talk, which I want to share today, and that is uh, when you're working with org mode, you are talking about uh, these headers, and you can create these headers using uh, asterisks. So when you type in here, right now I'm using a mode, not really a mode, but it is basically a configuration, a uh, additional plugin that I'm using, not really a plugin, but uh, it is a mode, a bullet uh mode i will talk about probably in a different video but if you're not using any visual aid here uh when you're working on uh, emacs you can create headers with star or maybe double star or maybe uh triple star and so on i mean of course uh, you can't really go on and on so it really depends on uh, how many asterisks you want to have in front of your uh, heading or heading one heading two and heading three so this looks really good and uh, this actually makes uh, an outline of your text when you're working on your uh, emacs and it will also create a table of content for you if you want you can disable the table of content we'll probably talk about it as well but uh, uh, if you look at this document we have header one header two and so on uh, or not uh, yeah this is header one this is this is header one but uh, things like uh, 6.1 
in this document. These are header two, and you can have of course more headers. Uh, so it is all about of course uh, organizing your content. But while you're on your document, maybe for some reason you want uh, the uh, you, you you want to know that if you are working on let us say this line like let us learn the fundamentals first you are actually at header 2 but it is a bit difficult to figure out uh, at which level you are while you are in between the the content uh maybe you are somewhere here and you are not really sure whether i am at level 1 or level 2 and and it is a bit confusing uh it could be a, a bit confusing but what you can do you can uh, use one mode called uh, let me just uh, show you the mode here uh, so you need to use indent and uh, the mode is uh, let me just check the exact name so the exact name is org indent mode so the moment you use this mode you can immediately see if you just give it a second so now you can immediately see the hat uh, uh, the text will follow the parent uh, level so the you, you will see here that uh, when you insert a new header so right now i believe we are at header 2 and if i insert maybe one more header we are header 1 uh, header 2 header 3 and uh, this is my header 3 header 3 and uh, now if i press enter i'm taken uh, i mean the the text the text here will uh, start from the indentation of header header three, so it makes the writing experience much more uh, fun and easy. When you are, when you are uh, trying to organize the content, maybe you are trying to write uh, a blog post or maybe you are trying to write a book. It could be anything. So um, this is all I wanted to share in this. Uh, video and i basically wanted to share uh, these fundamentals of emacs because we have been learning so far how to use emacs how to use we will be talking about how, how to using how, how to use org mode for uh, organizing your notes for organizing your life and how to make your life uh, much more easier if you're trying to use org mode along with emacs of course for our plan for planning the work but of course we talked about publishing a website we talked about uh, generating and exporting HTML files as well so we'll be making more videos on this topic and uh, I'm really enjoying uh, making these videos because personally I have been using Emacs for many years and I love e uh, I love Emacs I love org mode and recently I started publishing a blog post using Emacs and only Emacs of course uh, with the help of org mode so if you go to my uh, my blog which is uh, ravi.pro so this is actually the blog where i am writing this content with without using any edit uh, any uh, any uh, cms like drupal i have been using drupal i use drupal my my blogs they're all on drupal but i wanted a place where i can simply share my thoughts very quickly and very easily without worrying about going online organizing the content and publishing it now whenever i have to publish anything i just convert my notes or i can convert my notes very easily and very quickly into um, a proper blog by simply by simply publishing to a folder which i of course talked about in my previous not really previous but uh, uh, a video that I made uh, I think on a topic where I mentioned how to use or mode to publish a website and uh, we also talked about uh, using of course Emacs to publish this site uh, but at the same time we also talked about uh, how to also host it on uh, on GitLab so if you want to basically publish a website on GitLab free of cost you can do that and if you want also to use org mode along with Emacs you can watch my video and uh, I have been making these videos especially on uh, Emacs and org mode so I hope you found uh, this video useful and you learned something new today thank you very much